I don't know how to do it. I think that's the best way to describe mm-hmm. it for me. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Everyone think, oh, I could do this, or this could be a bit uh, bigger here, or this could... But I mm-hmm. believe, like, more or less, I'm okay. I yeah. turn out okay, I look, uh, look all right. But what, Man's what, getting, what, what, getting what married, so I might be... What if it was something like, you couldn't get results on? Just say, like, your shoulders like, couldn't grow, so you just got the big bubbles, you know? Just wear a couple of coats, yeah, a couple of layers. <laughs> layer, layer that shit up, man. Layer that shit up. Yeah, layer I, I, shit I, I, up. I, I, well, I think, to be honest, I think maybe... The abs thing I would never do. I think that's just bonkers. Because yeah. I've seen it before. Mm. Um, what else? I don't know because I'm that's trying to think... That's a difficult part to get rid of the fat on the top of your stomach, though. It's not in the top, it's the bottom. The bottom is the, bottom the, the, the most cup. difficult. Mm. But a lot of that has to do with diet, isn't it? Yeah. Like a lot... You can get... This is the thing they always say about abs anyway. You can get abs. Like Everyone has abs, they say, but it's just, it's just hidden layer. under a layer of fat. So the mm. idea is to bring down the layer of fat on top which comes from diet more so than exercise. They say yeah. abs are made in the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. So, that's why I don't cook. give up the bacon again. <laughs> that's it, man. That's where the surgery might happen. I think that's the problem as well. I think people think like everything has to be one extreme, so that one extreme or like the minimum, but I don't really think that. You so can live it, a normal is, life. So is it really the procedures you're more against or do you think it's the media? Because the only, the only thing is, is media showing us all of this. Oh, you can look perfect like that. Like our phones are dangerous. Yeah. What you decide to look for in a day can affect how you want to be. Yeah, but I, me, I think, to be honest, I, this is going to sound probably hypocritical, but I, I don't think it's, I know you said like men are catching up on how much they're doing, but I can look at something on Instagram and not feel a type of way, but the kind of person that I am is I'm extremely confident, so I'm not going to even think, I, I might be like, oh yeah, that's good, that that guy, oh wow, man's like benching, the man looks like this, that's good, good for him, but yeah. I know that some people, especially people who are younger on social media, mm-hmm. especially, I go to young girls because I feel like, I've always had this idea, and I've just know from my own experience that I believe that the thing that women always like like to focus on is weight because it's something they can control a lot mm-hmm. more than any other part of their body, right? Mm. I feel like they can change. Men don't really care mm. about weight in the same way, right? They or they look at it differently. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Am I am I wrong? Do you think as, as a woman? Do you think that's? I feel like there are some men that are conscious about their weight, but we just express it differently. Yeah. I feel like so. How would you say women? Yeah, how do you say women express this and stuff? They'll pass the mirror and they'll be like, the 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 whole gym thing is a thing. No, but it's more like I want to put weight on. You can say to you know, but I'm just saying you could be like, oh, you lost weight, but they've been trying to bulk up. Oh yeah, yeah, and it would affect his whole mental for the whole week. Yeah, yeah. and then you'll start going and do some extra bits. Or even the other way, if they've put on weight and you've gone to the beach or something, that guy might just not take off his his t-shirt the whole day. That's true. That's mad, so yeah, because they're doing a lot of body shaming on, on breasts now. They're trying to say that Zach Efron's got a dad bod. Wow. Oh. Yeah, mad. <laughs> they, just, mad. they just threw Zach onto the bus, like. Yeah, that's just crazy, <laughs> huh? I don't know, man. I'm talking but... like I know him as well. <laughs> I know. Don't tell Giselle. I remember him as being, like, fit with abs, though. Yeah, no, but he's doing some Netflix thing, and there he's, like, looks different. He's got a beard, oh. he's a little bit thin, oh, no, but, but he's you not You know what? Thin. I know exactly what you're talking about. Bro, he doesn't look like he's got, no... Dad bod out here. This this yeah. guy's like running in rivers and running up hills, and I, yeah, I don't yeah. know how many dad bods can do that. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I'm I'm not looking to get a dad bod though. I'm looking to keep my waist at 33, bro. You know, I thought it was funny, and then lockdown happened, and then slowly. Listen, <laughs> you, I've said to you, bro, enough time. He's come and train with me. We train no, proper, right. bro. Yeah, all right. We train right. we train proper out here. I should have like, surgeries. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like our guy, um, what's his name, Hercules. But the Hercules is built like a titan, though, isn't it? So that's yeah, yeah. See, like that. Like I don't know if you've seen Hercules. Shout yeah. out Hercules. Yeah. But oh he's, um, he's like I can never. But me and myself, I know I can never be like that because the man's like a man mountain. He's like, yeah. how tall is he? About six foot four. Or he's six foot four. Man's built like he's come out of a comic book. Let's put it this way: he was running around with Idris Elba on the set. <laughs> I'm gonna find so him. Just, just, just the thing. System. I'm gonna find him. Just a thing as well. But even he said at the beginning, when I was having the conversations with him, he struggled to put on weight because mm. his body, like, he's got a very fast metabolism. So to maintain what he's doing, tough, tough. It's him, an isn't obsession. It? It's an obsession now. Yeah. So yeah. what happens when? Man's still like asked him what happens man. when he can't go to the gym and we can't work out. Bruv, I see him like literally on the lockdown. There's no, him there, and a few no other cars. guys in the house. Mm. And, and they, they were doing on the thing, yeah, I see that. Every single day. And I'm like, what if they don't get to? Okay. Man so, looks like a titan. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. But, but, he said it but this is the thing as well. Like, I know, but this is the thing it. about, um, when we spoke a little bit about genetics. Uh, also, it's not just a case of genetics. It's almost like your body type. Because some guys will never be able to get super wedged cause just because their skeleton can't fucking manage the weight. Right. right. Now yeah. that you've well, just okay. said that, Open up yeah, up. Go on, hit me. we're turning it around okay, cool. to a woman. Yeah, now, yeah, there's yeah. going to be exactly the same women that have body shapes that they just can't, are not built how they want, how they want it. 
Like, mm. like we said, you lose weight somewhere, mm. but you might not lose weight where, where you want it, where, mm. where you want to lose weight. So yeah. this is where the surgeons come in. They say, okay, we can add here, take away from here, double here. Mm. That's why some mm. women might get surgery done. Okay. So, I have to ask you a question, and yeah. this isn't a personal question uh-huh. to you. Do you think men's opinions of women's bodies play a part in their decision in any way at all? Yes, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't and, because and how? I, as well. I believe that a woman should be, should come, if, right, if you're going into a relationship, speaking both sides, men mm-hmm. and female, if you're going into a relationship, you should come as a whole person first. Like, you shouldn't be broken, empty, and expecting someone else to fill you, no. Yeah, yeah. You should be, like, happy with yourself first before mm. you get into in the relationship with someone else. I feel like that's how relationships last, point. right? Mm. So this is why, where I think that you shouldn't be getting surgery just to... Please someone else. Please someone else, or to, to, yeah. to make, make sure that your boyfriend's not cheating on you or going with other women, blah, blah, blah. That's not I mean, work. it might help, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking subjectively, I'm just been in this dangerous area. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking subjectively. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's right at all. But there's, if if, (laughs) if, this is what's mad in it, like if someone, like I'm not currently dating in it, like I'm off, I'm off the market, man's retired. But if a girl that I was seeing wanted to do something to her body and her sole purpose was to impress me. That's not up to me. I can't change that. Would that's you see up to that's her. a turn off though? Not, sometimes not, I've, judged, I've judged the lack of confidence before and I'd be like, ah, Yeah, but I, yeah. To, you know I mean? think yeah. it wouldn't, to be honest, it's not my place. I, like we've said it multiple times, mm. you may think differently, but I think we can't tell women what to do with their bodies. I don't know what he thinks, but yeah, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, but in all seriousness, isn't it? Like, I, like, that's not my issue. Like you said, like, if that person's not whole and they've got their own issues, they're a reason why they call your problems, isn't it? They're not my problems. Yeah. 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 So if people are gonna do that, they're gonna do that. But I would never if I'm in a relationship with someone and they're saying I wanna do this for you and I'm like, mm. that's bonkers, isn't it? Because yeah. you need to no. be you know what I, mean? I, 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 I still like, listen, I still see where it could still go wrong even if you're in the relationship, because if you've had a child now and everything has changed. I've mm. gone through it myself. Mm. Everything just changed on um, my little one's mum and stuff like that. And it was difficult. For at least a year, it was difficult to literally get back that confidence because mm. she didn't look how you, she um, looked in the beginning. Mm. And it was difficult. And I bet you any money, if she had the money to just do the surgery, she would have done it I don't know, on a quick fix. Mm. And that was only, that like, there was nothing wrong with her. It's just that, you know, the getting rid of the weight again and just getting back to how she wanted to be, it was just taking But do you think that process had made her stronger overall? Because I feel like if she just thought, okay, I feel this way now, I'm gonna get surgery to fix it. She will never have gone through that to accept of, okay, this is how my body has changed. This is like, just process all of it almost. Yeah. Well, it's, bro, like I said, it's easier said than done because I'm like you, I don't judge my partner on how they looked before or afterwards or anything like, I'm in love with you, this is what we're doing. If you've mm. got a problem with what's going on with your body, then I'm gonna support mm. you in doing what you wanna do. Obviously, mm-hmm. yeah, sure. surgery isn't always gonna be my go-to and say, oh yeah, just go and do that, it would be cool. Because it might take a life of its own and it might not stop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the, um, the results straight away. But as you said now, it would be very difficult for you to say to your partner after she's feeling like her body's changed, to just be like, right, if you're doing this for me, you're, you're losing it because she could actually be doing it. Are you losing attraction? Mm. I'm telling you. Know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut this one off, yeah, because it's starting to die. So I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah. So. Uh, can you save it beforehand? Yeah. Download? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, this is the dodgy thing with lives. Oh, mine, but mine never <laughs> seen. Do you remember when I was doing mine? We never. lost our great gem of our life mm. between me and Steph last night because I didn't get to save it, so. Huh? You might need to put this on the charge. I'll let it go for more. Yeah, okay. um, but um, yeah, as I was saying, has it done it? It's downloaded it, yeah. I'm going to pass this to you and then if you want to share it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's so, hot. Huh? It's hot, watch it. Yeah, no, then um, Over here, I do man. need to um, sort out there. Like, Over here and turn it into Samsung right here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so like, you know, because it's somebody that you do love mm. and they're telling you, look, I'm not feeling attractive. Mm. As I said, I've been there before. Coming out of your mouth, they just say, oh, you're talking nonsense, man. Right, There's nothing right, wrong right. with you. Sometimes they just don't believe what you're saying. Yeah, 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 for sure. Do you know what I'm saying? So... It, it is mad. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot, man. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot. It is a lot. I mean... 
It's mad. It's yeah, mad. don't be scared to have my children now. We're not trying to put. <laughs> no, no, it's fine now, nah, bruv. Nah, that's fine, bruv. I'm sure you know it's bad. I'm saying. I'm saying. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to. When she's. Nah, nah. Properly. When she's prepping and she's pregnant, you know, whatever, a man's gonna be doing all of the meals before and after to make sure she's eating well. That's in the nice. sense of No, in the sense of, you know, making sure she's getting all the right vitamins, yeah. the minerals for the baby, you know, carrying another person, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Like, I'll allow her, innit? She could go up a dress size. No, yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah, no, but then I'm it's easier for her to bounce back to her. Yeah, she was before. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, looking yeah. after herself while she's pregnant. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. But uh, it's hard. It's hard in it being pregnant. It's that that thing's a uh, madness. Mm. Um, listen, I felt I was pregnant <laughs> yeah, was yeah. because it was up, down, go there, do yeah. this, do that. I was sleeping on myself, but I had to go and get the craving. Yeah, for sure. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm craving this. Okay, I'll be down the road yeah, two yeah. minutes, and it oh, broke. No matter good. how much you. Well, break, I think yeah, I think any time you, you should definitely try and. Do the journey with her as much as you yeah. can. Like I'm gonna cut drinking from the get go because she won't be able to drink in it. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that. That's my plan. Yeah. And I'm gonna try and mimic like some of the stuff obviously she can't yeah, have. To I'm make gonna try not to have it. Yeah. Because I. But that goes to I mean, it's worked that, already. With goes, obviously, she's not pregnant. That to goes to show with the, with with a situation of what you was talking about. What you came through, Steph, is like if somebody's gone through what you've gone through, it's very very difficult. Because mm. as you're saying, mm. you're showing like yeah, you're gonna be supportive. You're gonna be. There. Some some women are, they don't have no support like that. Mm. Yeah, it's mad. So to pick yourself up, I commend you for. Um, you yeah, know, women need a lot of support. Yeah, you know, like, bro, that's a full time job still. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, before, I never used to think anything about the term "what doesn't kill you make you stronger." But after yeah. what I went through, I was like, wow, mm. like <laughs> I've like, got the badge. <laughs> can do it yeah, yeah good. so when we were speaking earlier we were speaking about entrepreneurship and i know this is actually something we want to speak about on the podcast round about the time it was kind of the tax year we wanted to put it in but yeah. corona fucked every man up yeah. so we're thinking of like <laughs> the idea of entrepreneurship and what's happening in the in the culture now of the creativeness and the rest of it like i feel me personally i feel like the kind of idea of having a job being in that job until and that job securing you forever mm. is just like not happening anymore that's just a no, lot it's cool like no non-existent exactly so uh, but i'm noticing a lot more as people get older as well even those people who are working those kind of jobs even corporate jobs mm. they feel like no nah, like i want to spend the next 30 years doing this i'll kind of want to start my own thing on my start business my own business or whatever it yeah. may be it's a lot more common now do you think there's a do you think that's a cultural change in the sense of how people view it or do you think it's just like people have that realization where they, there's no security in the kind of jobs that they do anymore. I feel it's a realization because entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Okay. Um, so it has to, it has to be a certain type of person that has that hunger and drive and that desire inside them already, mm. just bubbling up, waiting mm. for something to happen, slap you in the face and be like, wake up. Yeah. It could have been Corona, it could have been you've had a child, it could have been you've lost a loved one, anything, anything like that. Mm. So it takes a certain type of character. To be an entrepreneur. Do you think there's some people who should just give up and go and work in marketing, etc. Essentially, like yeah, no, there's, there's some for them. people that are just happier having knowing that they're going going to work, getting their job done, yeah. and then coming home. There's That's people that are happy like yeah. that, yeah, that, that have that security. Mm. But unfortunately, it's got to a point where it's just a safety net. To be honest, you know what's crazy is just like I'm seeing jobs that everybody is going for now was nothing that they personally studied for. No, no. Yeah. Wait, so, but like, this is just, you know what, that, that alone, you have to get ready for a job listen. that's not even designed yet. Mm. Yeah, but you, what you, you know what's mad about that as well is that, that you say about people studying people went to uni for. Mm. Coming out of uni and getting into the industry that you want, that you've graduated in, is so fucking hard. It's yeah. so, no wonder people get frustrated because if you go and study management or something, let's say management or marketing or advertising, you still can't get a job in none of them mm. because you've just come out. So they're like, well, no, you need serious. experience in these and this. But it's like, big man, I'm coming to you for, so I can get some experience. <laughs> like, I don't understand. It's bonkers. Yeah. So I do understand a lot more where people start their own thing, yeah. especially based on that as well. But there's some people who are creatives. I know one person that comes to mind already who tried to do like three different types of things, like say, for example, acting, modeling, or entrepreneurship, or promoting, whatever it is, mm. and he's doing these. And I'll tell you something, man has got no talent in any of these. <laughs> no talent at all. He should give up and, walk, and go and work in Starbucks <laughs> because to be honest, I can't see it. I can't see it, I can't see the talent, I can't hear it. This is just one person. I mean, other people might be saying something else, but me but personally- But organized though? Because I think there's a difference between a you know, creatives 
and this goes back to the entrepreneurship you can have somebody that is creative got online presence doing all that yeah. those kind of fields you're talking about yeah, yeah. you gotta either have the talent and if you're gonna work by it it's gonna work or not but then even then it's a very slim chance that you'll get in through the door now with the entrepreneurship thing i notice people that do succeed they got organization mm-hmm. skills to well, you have to. Working you, yeah. say you have yeah. to. Man. So you can't. it's like, have you noticed uh, anybody that you've seen try to do it? They got great creative ideas, but their structure, their setup is just weak. Yeah. And you would probably just advise them to say, "I think you're better off in a company." But this is the thing as well. Who who are we? I know I'm just kind of contradicting what I'm saying, but who are we to say, "Okay, I think you should maybe allow that in it." No, I'm just. This is what I'm saying. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that like, it's crazy because if people aren't successful or they're not it's not really meant for them mm. who's the person or persons or pe- persons people mm. to say to turn around and say look man i don't think this is going to work for you mm. Mm. i mean more time it's a loved one that will tell you that yeah because they'll push their own fears on you and i feel like a lot of dreams are not fulfilled because people are listening to other people's oh no maybe you shouldn't do it or it's not for you and you could have been mm. this close mm. for your for your what, breakthrough yeah. I, I think if you if you if someone wants to do something they haven't even tried it yet and someone's saying oh you shouldn't do it i think that's just stupid yeah. you should at least try it try and then it. if you fail you're like okay this mm-hmm. isn't for me and then you come to that on your own conclusion because i don't know about anyone else but i'm the sort of person you could tell me you could give me i could ask you for advice and i could go do what i want anyway do you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. so there's lots of people like that isn't it? that's the one <laughs> <laughs> that's it. i knew there was a term for it yeah Great, great, great one. Yeah, great, great. You know I'm mean? gonna go do this shit anyway. Think, yeah, no. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I can't stand people like that. That's it. Well, look, I think as well, like, at the end of the day, with things like that as well, if it's something big and life changing or whatever, at the end of the day, you're gonna be the one who has to pick up the pieces, innit? Mm. Like, friends are great and family are great and all of that, innit? But ain't no one paying my, my water bill, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, no, it's true. It's that's true. another thing that's something to think about. But I, I do think that. Um, this is actually a question for both of you. Both of you guys are parents, so how does that accept accept your mindset, knowing that you know your family's um, you got like a mouth to feed essentially? Because I've I've have, have yet to experience that, so I'm quite curious. You know what it is? Is there's, there's no days off. Mm. That's how my brain works, and mm. I think um, similar to yours. Because as you said, once you went through what you was going through, mm. you was just self efficient after that. That's how I hear your story when you say it. Mm. So there's no days off. There's mm. none in the, like oh. Um, there's no food in the fridge. No, no, but more, no, 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 but more so like I'm saying, would you leave a very lucrative career, a corporate career, let's say, let's say you're a lawyer or you're a policeman and you want to go thinking like, oh no, I want to go start my business or I want to go and get into acting uh-huh. and you know the bag's completely different in that, especially you if you're starting to reminded me of something. So this morning I was watching Michelle Obama on Netflix, um, mm. Becoming, mm. and she was explaining basically when she wasn't prepared for the change in her life when she had children yeah. so she it's not like uh, she, she says this herself it's not like barack was telling her to stop her career in law or her studying in law to stay, be a stay at home mum mm. it was just that natural instinct in her to drop mm. everything else and just become be focused and become a mother yeah. now um what she then went on to saying is that she was doing everything at once she was doing she was um helping him uh, with the kid helping the kids um obviously making the home and then she was forgetting about herself but mm. in while she was forgetting about herself she was saying to herself hold on a minute we're busy at home but then barack has time to go to the gym mm. and that was annoying her yeah, yeah and she said i should stop focusing on being angry of him going to the gym and start getting myself to the gym yeah so divert your your thought process and where yeah. you're where you're where you're yeah because that sounds like that's a bit of a resentment of like yeah. oh he gets to go well, and yeah, i don't yeah 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 you yeah. should just make the time yeah, be yeah. like right okay you're gonna go at this time then i'll go at this time yeah, yeah i believe for you, that. for you to stay with the kids yeah i think I, yeah I, I definitely believe that because i do think that you've just you've got to allocate time for what you love the matter of like this haven't you ever read that thing about there's like 164 hours in the in the week and yeah. it's like how you spend every minute and every day mm. it's crazy like when you really break it down yeah. like there's a exercise you can do where at the end of like one day you just write down everything you do every mm. like from say you got up at eight o'clock what did you do eight till eight yeah. thirty every account for every minute mm. and then you'll look at it and then you'll think okay well i didn't really need to spend 20 minutes on my phone that can yeah. go i didn't yeah. need to watch half yeah. an hour of netflix that can go mm. you know what i mean because you know where i think about it as well is that um i went running with my mate and we basically ran from Brentford to Richmond and it took us half an hour mm. and 
like a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting there, I was watching something for half an hour. I was like, wow, a man could have ran to Richmond by now. It's crazy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you think about sitting there watching, like yeah. the EastEnders or whatever you're watching, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're thinking, in this half an hour I'm watching this, yeah, I could have ran like to a different time. thing. Yeah. So when you really allocate it, um, I think time is just, I think I, I kind of wish, yeah, I kind of wish I knew this when I was younger. Because oh, I wasted bare time when you I was younger. You know what? Just Listen, we nothing. all knew that when we were younger. Our parents would talk to them, they were bringing Tell us the No, but you know what it is? No, but you know what it is, I think? It's like when you're younger, like if you're in your 20s or something, <laughs> yeah. what, you're, either you knew you're working a part-time job. That doesn't really cut into your life like that, you know what I mean? So, but now when you're older and you've got maybe a full-time job or you've got kids or you've got, or you've got like just more, more um, demand of your time, that's when you realise it because you haven't had a yeah, lot. Course, but that course. being said then, before I've worked two jobs, and I've realised that one of my premises of not getting a second job is that I'm not going to have the time. You've got time to do two yeah. jobs. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm Jamaican, so it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, you never really... And then you're even more thing yeah. of your time. It's crazy because you're like, oh, wow, I don't want to spend this time just... You probably get doing, three jobs when you have kids. Doing, <laughs> doing hooligan shit. Like, yeah, I don't want to spend, like, the weekend just, like, sitting at home playing COD for three hours with my mate. Mm. Like, I know yeah. I've got my time to get to work and stuff. Priorities it's mad, change. It's mad. But as, as you were saying with the Michelle Obama thing, yeah. you have to make time for yourself as well. So, mm. um, they were saying, I can't remember where it was though, but they were saying about how it's, um, oh yeah, that's it, Jordan Peterson is a psychologist. Mm. He was saying it's important to have, like, two parents in the household. Mm. And the reason why is because sometimes one just needs a break mm. for oh, yeah, himself. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's just constant going, going. Now, mm-hmm. obviously, most of us have been in like single relationships mm-hmm. and stuff like we were bringing up the child by ourselves. But that little time you can have, like, say, mm-hmm. an hour for yourself in the day, mm-hmm. it's magical. And don't feel Do you know bad about it. No, 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 no. And also, no. don't let your child make you feel bad about it yeah. because that's what I'm suffering, well, not suffering, but what I'm going through right now. Like, because I work from home, mm-hmm. Leona's in her bedroom or in the bedroom with me. Mm. Tagging on me, mummy, play with me, mummy, play with me, mummy, play with me. Obviously, mm. that pulls my heartstrings. Yeah, but course. I have to say to her, mummy, look, I need these two hours to do this so I can buy you your dresses that you want. Yeah. After you let yeah. me do this, we can play all you want. Mm. And that's how it's worked for me because mm. she understands, okay, mummy has to go to work. Because either way, if I was going out, leaving her with a babysitter or whoever, mm. I was going out to, to work. Yeah. She'll still be by herself. She wouldn't yeah, be tagging sure. at me. Yeah, she wouldn't yeah, be yeah. telling me to play with because yeah. I'm not there. Yeah, that's so true. you shouldn't feel be made to feel bad. No. If you want your time, or if you want to dedicate a certain amount of time to your hobbies or whatever yeah. it is that you want to do or whatever makes you happy, do it. So do you believe you have more flexibility in running your own business, or is that just like a thing that people say? Um, like on those ads on YouTube. The the pro is that you're in charge of your time. Yeah. It's not that you have more flexibility because mm. if you're your own boss, you're an entrepreneur, you have to be on top of everything and you need to make sure everything's getting done. Mm. The same way that you'll be at your job, yeah, somebody's yeah, yeah. on, 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 at, on your case, on yeah. your case yeah. making sure everything's got, got to be done. The only difference is you're that person behind you yeah, yeah, making yeah. sure that yeah. you're getting everything done. So, and I think it is harder working from home because your bed's right there, the kitchen's there, like the yeah, work, there. Yeah, work so. is, yeah, your, your I like to have a section of mine. Like I've got a desk, so I won't do work on a sofa with my laptop yeah, on my leg. No. Desk, because yeah. mm. it just changed my mm. mindset alone. Like desk, whatever, mm. like assist, I have to have a system in place mm. as well. And people just need to know a man's, man's on the job. When I'm on the desk. When I'm on, je- when I'm on job, <laughs> send a voicemail, bro. Because it's, it's, it's not happening, mute, mute them yeah. groups. But I, I do think that. as well that, I know that we spoke about time and the rest of it. I think that one of the biggest problems at the moment is there's so many distractions and the whole idea that distractions mm. are supposed to make our lives easier and reduce time, but mm. apps, WhatsApp, Instagram, mm-hmm. I feel like they don't and that's you end up wasting so much time than you realise. Yeah, I think we spoke about this before about social media anyway. Yeah. But, but that's what, what I'm saying, your yeah, phone's directly in your hand, so it feels like it's important. I mean, mm. what, about 10, 10 or 15 years ago, we couldn't do no online banking or to keep mm. messaging with photos mm. and all of that like it was different mm. so all of those things now are like so easily accessible It'll, when you lose your phone people panic mm. they start saying to themselves like oh there was something important I was supposed to do and it really wasn't that important you ask man you just when, don't have it when I uh, messed up my phone I fucked up the screen and whatever and I was on my burner you see my burner yeah, yeah. burner's lit um, but I realised yeah I realised as well it's just like I'd speak to the same people now. I speak to like five people tops. I need like only five people really need my number in it. Everything yeah. else, 
They can either talk to me on social media yeah. or they can email me or whatever. These are the necessity people that I need. I need my workplace yeah. to ring, I need my wife to ring, I need like one of my best friends, like my mum and one of my sisters. To be fair, I don't need one of my sisters. If I relay the message to my mum, <laughs> it'll just go to my sisters anyway. Who would I make the cut? Who would I make the cut, bro? Send me an email, bro. Email, email, email. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking life or death, innit? Because the way I was going about it before is like, like I was, I was saying to you before, I don't have my phone in my bedroom because yeah. I'm like, if there's an emergency, first of all, I'm asleep in it, so I ain't mm. getting up. Second yeah. of all, if there's an emergency, you will have someone else's number close to me mm. to notify so, me, yeah. and that person mm. should be my mum or my wife or my dad or something, right? Yeah. So my thing is that, and also, it's still gonna be an emergency when I wake up. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I do true. to limit the time that I'm on social media or on my phone? If I'm at home and my battery's about to die, I let it die. Yeah. Like, I, I don't rush to, yeah. to get a, a charger or anything, like, especially if, I'm, oh, yeah. if I'm going to bed. If it's going to die, oh, yeah, it's going to yeah. die. I leave mine in my kitchen. Leave mine in the kitchen. Not my uh, bedroom is a screen free room. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I do. I really think that. TV's gone in there now, though. Don't know what happened with that. But it's, got it's, it's minor, <laughs> yeah, it's minor. But for time, I was talking to the missus got her way. Yeah. Else, yeah. <laughs> I was talking to someone else about it, and I was like saying to him, like, I've got, a, I've got a thing. Like, when I go to bed, I've got dimmers, I bring down the dimmers put my phone phone down, all of that, like mentally get like ready for bed. Yeah. I've got dimmers and TV That's screens. It. And Men like mentally get <laughs> prepare my body for bed. You know, that's how you gotta do, man. But what I did want to mention as well, I know when we're speaking about entrepreneurs and businesses, I gotta to talk to you about um, things, businesses that claim to be proper businesses work for yourself, that kind of thing. And to be honest, some of them just look a hell of a lot pyramidy, or like hexagony, <laughs> or like just I don't know, man. Are we talking about network marketing? Network marketing, like whatever. Yeah, there's anything that says that. Okay, mm. I have to get you to get you to get a present here. Like all of that's mad. Mm. And also commission only. Actually, I want to talk mm -hmm. about commission only as well yeah. because I've won some things before, and I'm like, listen, bro. I'm coming to you for a real job. A real job yeah. to me is a salary, basic mm -hmm. commission. I ain't got no commission about. I got no beef about commission, mm -hmm. sales, all of that. Yeah, that's all fine in it. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, in it, if I'm going to work all day and if I don't sell, I don't think I don't get any money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what's going on here, bro? I might as well be on the fucking roads. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Are. Like when you think but about it. But then if you see it like that, that's more of a, your issue than the actual business or that plan itself. Because okay. you're you're doubting your ability to be able to make those sales to get your commission. Okay, so, so there's two types of people that yeah, can do that. On. Sharks, people that go after numbers mm -hmm. like tirelessly. Mm -hmm. They don't care about any obstacles, they just go for it. Right. Mm -hmm. Or it could just be someone like we mentioned before, that someone that, that has prefers the, the stability of knowing I'm going to work, do my hours, coming back home, mm -hmm. I'm getting paid. Yeah. So I don't feel like um sorry, I have a passion for this in mind. So <laughs> Network marketing is not for everyone, again, mm -hmm. because if you're that person that's used to the corporate world, used to a paycheck, that is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. But what annoys me is that it, you, you might not understand the concept of it, right? Let me explain to you. A pyramid scheme, one, is illegal, right? If, if, you're, if you're just having to get people in to pay money and that's it, that mm -hmm. is illegal, right? That is the pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. Now, where people confuse it is with a network marketing company where um, you have to get customers for either a product or a service, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, for example, a network mar marketing company that's um, partnered up with, let's just say, a company like Virgin Media, Sky, mm -hmm. a big energy company. Oh, yeah, Do you think is. these million, billion dollar companies mm -hmm. will sign up, sign contracts with uh, a pyramid scheme or something that's a scam? Do you really think they haven't done? They haven't paid their lawyers to research what these yeah, companies course. are about. Uh, now yeah, this is the, no, I'm, yeah. yeah. So this is where, right? People are painting a picture with the same brush, and mm. I don't blame them. It's fine. They've probably gone through their experiences. They've had bad bad experiences, whatever. Mm. But entrepreneurship, um, network marketing, commission based, and sales is not for everyone. Mm. It is a shark environment, right? Um, so you have to be again like you have to have a certain characteristic mm. to be, you have to be organized you have to be timely you have to be plan your week you have to plan your schedule you need to yeah. know um, your targets you need to know how much customers you need to be able to make the money that you need to survive mm. it takes a lot it's not easy mm. so um, so would you say there's no guarantees the guarantee is you 
No, nah, I don't believe so, in that. Bro. No, the guarantee is you. So I know, but I don't you, believe in that. If you wake up and say, all right, today I'm going to make five customers because I need 200, 300 pounds, yeah. it's down to you to make it. Mm, mm. If, I know, you, but my if idea, you don't yeah, yeah, talk yeah. to the people and if you don't yeah, find those customers, my you're idea, not going to make that money. Agreed. But my idea is that if you're working for someone else in yeah. a job, which is sales, mm-hmm. let's just go with sales commission yeah. only based stuff, yeah. right? You're working for someone else, isn't it? So what's the what's the point of working for somewhere else? Because if that's the case, you could be freelance and, and all the rest of it. Because in those kind of environments, you have to make money mm-hmm. in order to survive mm-hmm. in the same way. So why are you then going to get involved so with someone why would you who... Get, do you mean why would you start network marketing? No, why, I'm oh. saying why would you get involved with some a job, mm-hmm. any kind of job that deals exclusively with sales only and commission only, mm-hmm. if essentially that's what you want to do if you're a freelancer or if you're self-employed because you're doing the same thing you would have to make certain money so you can eat but it's for mm. yourself as opposed mm. to this where you're doing it for someone else mm-hmm. so you can eat do you see what I mean there's no yeah. need to put necessarily because put in the, another person yeah, yeah because right so let's say what you're getting at so why would you go into network marketing other than rather than going into business yourself is that what you're trying to no, say no I'm saying why would you uh, sort of but I'm saying why would you go into would you classify commission and sales as network marketing Mm, okay, because no, I'm, so network marketing, marketing is the industry. Okay, mm. and then sales is the type of job that you do. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm talking exclusively sales. about sales mm-hmm. and commission only roles. So yeah. my argument is, why would you go through a company to do so mm-hmm. when essentially you can do so as a self-employed person or a freelance Some person? Yeah. Like the security level. But there no, isn't any security. Yeah, that's just, what I'm saying. I just got just what, what you mean? said. Yeah. So maybe it's because that person has never been exposed to how to open up a business, how to mm. the steps that you need to be able to become your own boss and an entrepreneur.